Morning guys, fabulous news this morning. Native support of Go and Lambda. Yay, uh, finally. Um, but you might be wondering how I was talking about Go and Lambda before. So what Apex um, did was uh, it used the Node.js uh, sort of um, Lambda support to bootstrap the the Golang binary. You see these little things here. So now in in Apex, these these bits will be unnecessary. But um, yes, it was possible to to run Go before. Now with native support, I don't quite know what that means. Hopefully, it will be. Um, slightly bit faster but to be honest I've never really noticed any speed problems especially once the lambda is warm um, whilst I'm here I thought I should point out that there's a v2 of the Golang SDK in AWS I've been using it um, and there's also a chat channel I'm on there too I've been reporting bugs it's a bit lonely there so please join if you're an AWS Golanger person um, the interesting thing about the SDK is that there's, um, there's no session stuff. The config is actually a little bit easier to map to your profiles, AWS profiles now. Um, what else is good about it? There's, there's, um, you don't have to pag paginate these like this, like list pages thing. And, um, I think they're just. You, you don't have to use so many pointers everywhere. And and what I especially like is this DynamoDB um, expression builder. Because when you mess around with DynamoDB, when you're building up the expressions by hand, it's really painful. There's an expression builder, there's a, marsh, a map marshaller. Um, have a look at V2. I probably just, um, there's probably something else I missed, but uh, it's a good time to be go-langing um, with AWS, the support is 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 is, uh, is there, and um, I, I think it's really the best language to program in right now. It's it's such a breath of fresh air. It's so nice. So please join me, guys. See you. Bye.